it's me it's Ann I'm just kind of hanging out and looking around and just got back from doing a little shopping but not your standard grocery shopping I was out shopping for free groceries plants seeds that kind of thing <laughs> we're going to be getting ready to put our um, gardening beds in so that we can feed the family over the next year and hopefully have enough left over to can and put up and freeze so that we've got some of our own homegrown no chemical fresh veg to work with um i've also just gotten finished putting together a quote-unquote mess of dandelion greens yes dandelion greens yes them weeds out in the front yard during the depression that was a big deal for poor families it really was a little olive oil little lemon juice and dandelion greens there's a lady on youtube who passed away recently but she did a bunch of the recipes that her and her family when she was a kid survived on during the depression and one of them was dandelion salad now that one is just the lemon juice and olive oil but she would walk home from where she worked at a cotton mill and had a little knife in her pocket and would go through and as she walked through the area back home if she saw a decent looking bunch of dandelions, she would cut them right there, cut them off of the root, and start cleaning them on the way home, you know, getting the, the big chunks of dirt down at the bottom, picking the grass out, dropping the leaves that had started to wilt a little bit. There's also using dandelion heads, not for wine, for preserves and I'm told it's delicious that's one of the things I want to try when I can find a large enough supply of no chemical in the yard version of dandelions now if you go to places in Europe and the Mediterranean and lots of other places in the world you will find they still use dandelions pretty regularly in a lot of stuff one of the recipes that I got shown on from a YouTube channel on you know cooking was this guy from Greece who explained how to do properly cooked dandelions now you have to soak them first to get the dirt out but then you soak them and we're talking three soaks here first you rinse them and get all the dirt out while you're with a colander and then you start soaking them but when you go to cook them you put some baking soda in so that it neutralizes the excess acid dandelion is bitter but bitter is actually usually a pretty good dietary supplement you know because some of some of the dark greens are bitter but we're not used to the kind of bitter we're talking about here so the the baking soda soak and baking soda in the cooking helps tame that acid down now the Greek guy when he put the baking soda in he had chopped up the greens until they were pretty fine and then there was this lady who was doing a vegetarian dish and talking about this fancy vegetarian market that she went to and I'm not sure where she was she was in the States somewhere 
but she had these huge, I mean, they were this bloody long, dandelion green. These things were enormous. They were cultivated specifically. And I'm going, I'm not going to cultivate dandelions specifically. I'm just going to use the ones that are in my yard. And for quote unquote pest control in our yard, we use things like coffee grounds and garlic um, juice and that kind of stuff. We don't put the most obnoxious chemical we put out is a little bit a couple of drops of dawn dishwashing liquid that we spray that takes the aphids and bugs off of things like tomato plants um but we prefer more to plant like marigolds near the tomato plants that kind of thing because the bugs that love tomatoes hate marigolds natural symbiotic planting but i just wanted to let you know what it was up to and give you a look at the cream stuff that i stuck on at least just my eyes i didn't really feel like it's warm enough out there that i am sweating something fierce and i didn't put all the stuff on i've got a little bit of moisturizer with sunscreen and a small layer of elf powder and then the elf liquid eye shadow in nude linen again and then the same aoa velvet the you know, velour eyeshadow i had on the other day it just it was still sitting on top of my table so there you go but, yeah, if you notice in the beginning of the information on a lot of my um, title page stuff, I do things other than makeup. I do crafting, and I'm a writer, and I'm a grandma, and I'm a gamer. And I'm going to try to, as I go along, bring a little more of that in. Some of the first videos that I did, we had one where my husband Jim and our granddaughter were working in the kitchen on things like rhubarb. We have a huge stand of rhubarb outside the house and we make all manner of goodies with it. I do rhubarb crumble and rhubarb pie and rhubarb preserves and rhubarb relish which is wonderful it's like a chutney it's delicious with meat and then rhubarb pickles even um we do a bread and butter pickle kind of juice with it and oh they're good they're really good and yeah i do canning and all manner of things so occasionally as i go along and as the growing season and preserving season gets going more, you're going to get a few more of these. So, not just doing the usual makeup stuff. Anyway, that's about it for this one. If you have any questions, and in this case, with the dandelion greens, if you want to just write back and go, Oh, how can you eat that? I'll show you. There's a salad being made tonight, and tomorrow I will be taking the rest of the greens and doing a blanch, which is, is getting them in nice hot water first to kill all the bacteria and then dumping them in very cold water to stop the cooking and then you freeze them so i can use them later that way i'll have crispy potent spring greens come the middle of winter when i need a little boost anyway 
there is still no bail money. It's going into the garden. And I want you all to be good. Thank you.